to add your items from your reading list to Moodle, you need to first make sure that your reading list is published. Here's my reading list, it's called Library Research Workshops, and I have got three sections, getting started with EndNote, Word for Thesis, and Copyright and your research. So close your reading list, you don't need to have it open. From your Moodle page, turn Editing on, and scroll down to the place you wish to locate the link. Click Add an Activity or Resource. Choose the Waikato Reading Lists tool. Give it a name. In this instance, I want to link to the whole of the reading list. Click Show More. And under Launch Container, the option is Embed Without Blocks or New Window. New Window means the whole reading list will open in a new window, such as here, and it will leave your Moodle page open as well. If you embed without blocks, you won't open a new window, you'll open the reading list within the Moodle environment, and then any links that people click will take them to a new window. I'm a fan of new window. Click Save and Return to Paper. Now step two, click the link you've just added, Waikato Reading List. Then make sure it understands what paper you're actually after. You may have to prompt it to find the, paper, the reading list. There it is. And it suggests sections, but at the moment you wish to just link to the whole list. And here's a preview. Here is the whole list. So just click Save. If you go back to Moodle, you can test that and see what it looks like. I'll close that. Click, and you'll see it's opening it in, opening the whole reading list. Okay, if you wish to add a reading list to a specific section in Moodle, go to the relevant section. I'm going to add something in EndNote readings to the EndNote section. Click Add an Activity. Click Waikato Reading Lists tool. This time, give it a more specific name. Still click Show More. Click under Launch Container, New Window. Save and return to paper. Just then click back on the item you just added, the EndNote readings, and this is where you specify. Once you've specified the right list, you then say open it to that section. And here is a preview, and you'll see it's just opened to the EndNote readings. And save. So you can repeat that process for any other section 